Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. And in today's video, I created this makeup look you see right here. I wanted to do a holiday inspired makeup look and this is perfect for any Christmas party that you're going to or any holiday event that you have. I feel like this is a very, you know, dark and sultry but yet very festive look and it's super wearable I feel. And yeah, so um, I created this look for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to, you know, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Primer, and I'm going to use this all over my face. And this is good at blurring out the pores and just making sure everything is smooth. To conceal any acne scars or blemishes, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just going to buff this in and make sure that all of those areas are covered. Next, I'm taking the Fenty Foundation. This is in the shade 310. I've been really obsessed with this foundation lately. It just looks really good on the skin. It looks like skin, but it also looks full coverage, and I really love that. So I'm just going to blend this all in and make sure that it is all blended and it's all seamless. For concealer, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Light Medium, and I'm using this to conceal and highlight my under eyes, my nose, my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And I'm just blending all this out. To set my concealer and the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder and just baking under my eyes and then going to lightly set the rest of my face with a large fluffy brush. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just taking this big contour slash bronzer brush from Morphe and I'm going to carve out my cheekbones and bronze my forehead. As always, I'm just going to take some translucent powder and go under where I bronze just to clean it up and make sure that it is nice and chiseled out. For blush, I'm going in with this duo set from ColourPop. I can't remember what it's called, but it's one of those duo sets with a blush and a highlighter. And I'm taking this peachy blush and I'm using this on my cheeks today. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. This highlighter is crazy, crazy. It is so blinding, it is just perfect. And I am going to be putting this on my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow and really highlighting my face. For brows, I'm going in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil as normal and I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows and shaping them up and then I'm going to go in with some brow gel. It's going to be from the Brow Gal. It's the clear brow gel and I'm just going to work that through my brows as well. Mm -hmm. 
So I've just set my eyes with some MAC Soft Over Paint Pot as always and I'm going over it with some translucent powder just to set down the primer. For my eyes I'm going to be using the new Morphe 3502 palette and I'm taking this first shade called Contour and I'm working this into my crease area and making sure that it is super blown out. So I'm going for a halo look today, so with this next shade, which is called Stone, I'm going to be working this on the outer and inner corners of my eye, just making sure that it is very pigmented but it's very blended out and that it connects into the crease area. And then here I just switched to a more denser, smaller um, detail brush and I'm just using that to get the stone color even further into the inner corners and make sure that it comes through very pigmented. To deepen the crease up even further, I'm going in with the black shade called Wiz and I'm doing the same thing I did with the stone color and I'm just going to be placing this on the inner and outer corners of my eyes and then blending it out to make sure that it is blended with all the other colors but it's still very pigmented. And I'm going back and forth between this small detail crease brush and a fluffy crease brush and I'm going back and forth between them just to put down the product and then blend the product out. And then with the fluffier crease brush, I'm going back in with the shade Stone and just working this back into the outer and inner corners just to help blend out the Wiz shade and make sure everything is blended out seamlessly. Next, I'm taking this Blink and BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I'm taking that gold color and I'm placing that in the middle of my halo to complete the halo eye. And I'm just making sure that it's super pigmented and that it is connecting the outer and inner corners of the eye look. Next, I'm just taking this fluffy crease brush again and blending out the edges of the halo eye, making sure that they are blended seamlessly. Next, I'm just taking all of the matte shades I used and working them onto my lower lash line. So first, starting with the shade contour, I'm using that and really blowing this out. And then going in with the shade Stone and making sure that this one is blown out as well just to make the lower lash line very, you know, dark and sultry. And then taking this detailed shader brush, I'm going in with the black shade and really making sure that this is very pigmented on the outer corners just to create that darkness on the lower lash line. Next I'm taking this black eyeliner from my Looking Glass. They actually sent this to me so I'm very grateful for that. And I actually really do love this product. It's very black and it stays in the waterline all day. For lashes, I'm going in with Azurado Lashes in the Style Bombshell. These are super awesome and I actually have a discount code. It's GabbyH10 for 10% off. For lips, I'm using the Kiss Me by Live Glam Liquid Lipstick. These are the lipsticks that come with the Liquid Lipstick subscription. And this one is in the shade Cosmo. It is a super beautiful red shade. Very, very nice for the holiday time and Christmas time. And yeah, so this is the color I'm going to be using. And then to set my makeup all into place, I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And that completes this look guys. I hope you enjoyed this holiday glam look and if you did don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also follow all of my other social medias so we can chat on them and all that good stuff. And yeah, until next time, bye guys.